So this video, we are going to be talking about variables in JavaScript. Variables are the smallest, most fundamental building blocks of software. They are the subatomic particles of software. And if I could give anybody an abstraction or a way of simply describing what software development is, it is basically when you are developing software, you are creating the most flexible, the most powerful Excel spreadsheets on the planet. And I say that because there's not really much you can do with software. You can create data, you can read data, you can update data, you can delete data. Those are That's the acronym CRUD, C-R-U-D. And Excel spreadsheets are the same thing. But in Excel spreadsheets, you are self-contained. You can't just do whatever you want to in Excel spreadsheets. And a variable is going to be one cell in the Excel spreadsheet. And this fits perfectly because computer memory almost functions like an Excel spreadsheet. There are specific places in memory and when you create a variable or when you assign a variable, which we will do here in a second, all that you are doing is you are placing a place in memory logically and you are doing it in a way that's very readable to the human mind. So if you don't really understand what's going on as of yet, let's just go and let's give a couple examples here in VS Code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get rid of all this up here because we don't really need this anymore. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a funny story about rats or your favorite animal. I'm gonna create a story, a funny story about rats. I'm going to assign some variables and we're going to have a little fun here. So if you wanna copy mine, that's okay. But if you want to follow along and create a story about rats, just follow along. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create this let rat equal to and I'm going to say we are going to assign a variable to, this is going to be a radioactive rat. We are going to tell a story about radioactive rats in the New York City subway. So we're going to say radioactive subway rat. So when we actually assign this variable, what's going to happen is that let is going to say that we can actually change this variable if we want to. And this rat word is going to be a logical representation almost as if you are assigning a value to an Excel spreadsheet cell. And you could just assign this variable to the actual specific place in memory that would be like a hex code that would look something like this, but we call it just words like this because we need words as humans because we need to be able to tr keep track of it. And when we actually assign this word here, the string, as we would call it, to this variable, what it's doing is it's basically assigning this word to a place in memory. But this is kind of, you know, why would we actually do this? Well, first, you need to do this because you need to be able to keep track of stuff. And number two, you want to be able to use this variable in other parts of your software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. I am going to console log this and like I said, we're going to create a funny story and I'm going to say yesterday on the subway in NYC, I was bitten by a, give it a space, and then we are going to place our rat variable within our console log. And what's going to happen is that it's not going to log it right now because our server has actually shut down. So. What you want to do, you either want to right click and open with wet live server, or you want to go down here and hit this button right here. I like to hit this button because it it's just easier and it's just like a graphical interface. And we are going to console log this. So let's go ahead and let's console log it. And when I click the refresh button, we get a funny story. Yesterday on the subway in New York City, I was bitten by a radioactive subway rat. But it's important to understand because we have this let keyword right here, we can actually reassign this. So let's just say we get halfway through our story and we want to assign it. Maybe you are not bitten by a radioactive subway rat. Maybe you are bitten by a giant wolf rat. And we'll give it caps lock just to kind of be funny. 
but let's just say you want to change your rat to a giant wolf rat. And instead of getting bitten by a radioactive subway rat, you are bitten by a giant wolf rat. And that demonstrates how variables can be assigned to memory and they can also be changed in memory. Another thing that will happen is that you will see this word called const. Const is essentially let, but you cannot change it. That is the only difference between the two. So if I have the const up here and then I go up here and I assign rat and I give it uh, wolf rat right here, this is perfectly valid. We will be bitten by a wolf rat. But watch what happens when I actually try to reassign this to fancy rat, fancy rat. So maybe let's just say we don't see wolf rats anymore. We only see fancy rats. Watch what happens when I try to change it. You get this error that says assignment to constant variable uncaught. You get a type error. And that's because this is const. This is a constant variable. It cannot change. And we have that because in certain circumstances, you don't want your variable to change. May be a little confusing at first, but this is something that we will talk about down the line. The other variable type that you will actually see is the var. So var rat, and this is going to be wolf rat, just like this. So what we assign it the wolf rat, and I need to give it a semicolon. And what happens is, it's the same exact thing as let, but it has something called block scoping. Now, block scoping is going to be way too confusing right now. That's something that we are going to have to talk about down the line. I don't want to confuse you guys too much, but just realize that you don't want to use var anymore. There are some circumstances when you may want to use var, but Overall, the whole entire JavaScript community has made it so that, or has decided that var is no longer what people are going to use. From now on, you want to use let or you want to use const. You never want to use var. And if you use var, it may make you look stupid in front of other people. So just don't use var anymore. So one last thing before this video is over, Let's talk about how you actually leave comments. Now, comments are great because they help people learn. It's essentially a great way to keep notes for yourself. It's a great way to be able to document your code and you're going to see comments everywhere. Now, there's many different ways that you can turn stuff into comments, but the best way to create a comment is to just press control slash and it will do all of the commenting for you. So if you want to comment something, just press control slash. And if you are on a Mac, you want to press command slash. So Mac, it is command slash. If you are on a PC, it is control slash. You could and go in manually and do the double slashes just like this, but I typically recommend just taking the easy way. A lot of times in programming, it's best just to take the easy way and just go ahead and press that control or command slash just like this, and it will help you a ton. It will save you a bunch of time, and it will allow you to create great notes for yourself while you are learning. So the let, maybe you just say, this is the best way right here, and it's going to give you a bunch of squiggly lines because this is not a string. So in order to make it so that this is actually notes, control slash right here, and that is how you create comments. Anyway, that's going to be the video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.